A hiccup is an abrupt contraction of the inspiratory muscles, such as the diaphragm, against a closed glottis or vocal cords, which create the distinct hic sound. Hiccups are common and almost always transient, affecting all of us at some point in our lives. There are a few theories behind why we have hiccups. Number one, because hiccups occur in the fetus in utero, it's a way of developing respiratory muscles. Number two, it's an evolutionary remnant of when our aquatic ancestors had both gills and lungs and the hiccup reflex was designed to oxygenate the gills with water, but not to fill up the lungs. And number three, which is my favorite, the burping reflex, which is what we're going to explain now. With the hiccup reflex, the most common stimuli are gastric distension, carbonated water and eating too fast, which activates sensory receptors in the distal esophagus, the stomach wall, and the diaphragm. This then sends sensory information via the phrenic nerve, the vagus nerve, and some sympathetic nerves to the control center, which is located in the CNS, specifically the medulla, the hypothalamus, the reticular formation, and the phrenic nuclei. Here it sends a motor signal via the phrenic nerve, the vagus nerve, and some somatic nerves to effectors, particular muscles, that causes a response. Specifically, the diaphragm would descend downwards, the external intercostals will go out, which increases the volume of the lungs, but the vagus nerve causes contraction of the vocal cords, which stops air entering the lungs. This results in a negative pressure within the thoracic cavity. At the same time, the vagus nerve inhibits peristalsis in the esophagus and relaxes the lower esophageal sphincter, which then would draw air out of the stomach into the mid esophageal region, which allows the air to be burped out. Hiccups are most common in infants, most probably because as they ingest milk, they swallow significant amount of air, which causes distension of the stomach and esophagus, activating the hiccup reflex. Therefore, bringing air out of the stomach into the esophagus to be burped out, which would help remove swallowed air during suckling and therefore increasing the capacity of the stomach for milk rather than air.